So another Q&A here. Uh, this time is from Chong, and Chong asks, how should I balance scoliosis and squats? I can mitigate the pain doing sumo deadlifts, but on squats, it acts up every single time. So Chong, this issue hits home for me as well because I do have a mild case of scoliosis, and scoliosis is basically an S-curve or a lateral curve in your spine. And a way that you can determine if you have scoliosis is to stand up and then stand up uh, straight and then uh, bend down your head to your knees and see if one side of your back is higher than the other. So uh, basically if uh, one side of one erector is uh, noticeably higher than the other erector, then you most likely have a case of scoliosis. And again, it's not the end of the world. There are two great powerlifters that um, have scoliosis. Number one is Jason Beck. So he's one of America's best powerlifters and also uh, Lamar Gann. So Lamar Gann has uh, the world record in deadlift at uh, 132 and 123 and again it's not the end of the world uh, the way that I mitigated the scoliosis pain uh, in the squat was to eliminate as much mixed grip deadlifting as you can so the pronated supinated grip uh, really exacerbates your problem as far as um, your health in your hips and your back and because essentially when you're doing a mixed grip deadlift it twists your body every single time uh, so it doesn't help you at all. So my answer to that is to eliminate as many mixed grip deadlifts as you can. So for me personally, on my lighter deadlift days and all on all my deadlift accessories, I do a double overhand with straps. And on my heavy deadlift days, when I'm doing my heavy singles, I, I use my uh, pronated supinated grip, my mixed grip for deadlifts. So uh, if you do eliminate the amount of mixed grip deadlifting that you do, uh, you'll notice, or at least for myself, I notice a lot less pain in my hips because uh, usually when I'm driving, uh, when I had this problem, uh, the uh, left hip will click a lot. And uh, so it really when I'm driving, so when I was driving, the left hip will click a lot and it will feel uncomfortable and I would have to pop my hips back and forth. But once I really uh, stressed the double overhand deadlifts and again, uh, I lim eliminated my time doing the mixed grip deadlifts, I noticed that also my squat um, on the concentric, I wouldn't twist as much anymore, and um, I know slowly that my hip wouldn't feel as uh, as stressed or as tense uh, when I uh, did uh, do a lot more uh, double overhand deadlifts. So again, Chong, my answer to that, uh, hopefully it solves your issue, but if it doesn't, then again, you may want to uh, visit your chiropractor. Some people may view chiropractors as quacks, but... Again, uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to try a chiro chiropractor, but in the meantime, I would eliminate as much uh, mixed grip deadlifting as you can. And um, for most of your deadlift work, uh, again, your lighter sets and your uh, accessory sets to uh, exclusively use double overhand, and hopefully that solves your problem. So it's not directly related to uh, probably the way you squat. It's more related to uh, the amount of mixed grip deadlift that you do. Uh, so I hope that helps. Uh, that's it. And uh, thanks for watching.